Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be learning a technique in Blender to model low poly animals. I'll just show you a quick preview right now. So this is what we'll be creating today. Something very simple, something very easy, but something that contains a lot of technique and knowledge that you can learn from. So we're simply modeling a low poly um, deer or stag in Blender. So we're just um, going to use some simple techniques I'll teach you in the video. Uh, everything else is pretty standard. So let's get started. So for this tutorial I'll be using Blender version 2.71 which is right here. Here we go. So we're going to start off by changing from Blender Render to Cycles Render and hitting B on our keyboard and selecting our scene and deleting by hitting X says. Now the first step is setting up our reference images. You can download these images in the description of the video. So you want to go to Shift A, Empty Image or you can just simply go to Create, Empty. So I'm going to add a image here and I'm going over to my properties panel and hit the empty image uh, tab here and click open and then going to find my images. My dear body is right here. Scale it uh, 90 degrees on the X axis and scale it up. When I say scale on the X axis I meant rotate. Sorry for that. And we're going to shift A and add another one. And again, do the same. This one, I'm going to scale up and rotate on the Z axis 180 degrees. And I'm just going to hide that layer. On our empty layer here, I'm just going to reload, uh, rename it body what? Ref. So that's my body reference, and that can be my head ref. So, to start off with, we're going to go into front view by hitting 1 on our numpad, or you can simply just go to view front. And then I'm going to go into from perspective view, I'm going into orthographic view by hitting 5 on my numpad, or you can just go view perspective orthographic. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit and I'm just going to move up a bit by holding shift and my middle mouse button. I'm then just going to center my image like so. And I'm going to shift A, I'm going to add a mesh, a cylinder. And now for my cylinder's properties, I'm going to add it with eight vertices and my cat fill type of triangle fan and I'm simply just going to scale this down move it up across and rotate on the y axis 90 degrees scale it down a bit more scale on the z axis and scale it up a bit like so so this is a good starting point for our modeling so that is our cylinder. Now we're going to go into edit mode. So select it by right clicking and hit tab on your keyboard and then hit Z on your keyboard to go into wireframe mode. And then we want to select our edges. So select the edge select button here and hit B on your keyboard. And we're going to select this edge here. We're then going to hit E to extrude and scale down. E to extrude then scale down using the S key. And that is our end done. Very simple, very easy. We're then going to hit B on our keyboard on this other edge. We're going to hit E on our keyboard, scale it down a bit, then E on our keyboard again, E again, scale up, 
scale scale E and just going to drag this one up instead of pressing E uh, instead of scaling again dragging up and on this one we're going to rotate it on the Y axis like so and scale down E rotate on our Y axis lift up scale lift up so we're getting a nice neck shape going again we're going to then hide our body reference and unhide our head reference we're then going to move it across We're then going to just drag it down so it's in line. Drag it up. We just need to get it in line. Okay. We're then going to. I've just realised our neck is not long enough, so we need to go back. E to extrude scale. E, scale. You can also hit G to just move it. Okay, now I think we're ready to model our head. And I think we are. So I'm just going to move it down and up like so. Back into edit mode. And we're going to hit E on our keyboard. Scale up. Rotate on the Y axis a bit. Pull down, scale up. E on our keyboard again, scale down a bit, scale up, go, E on our keyboard, scale down, E, scale down, and this is just, this technique is just very procedural, looks very good so far so that is basically our body complete so we can now hide our reference and we instead of naming this cylinder we're going to name it body now open up your body reference again go into front view and align it all again up again and looks good <clears throat> We're now going to model our legs. So we're going to hide our body reference, our body layer, sorry. And we're going to shift A, we're going to add a mesh cylinder and we're going to scale it down. So we're going to model our back hind legs here. First of all, so scale down until we have it right and rotate it on the Y axis. Hit B on our keyboard and we can select that. We're going to hit E again to extrude. E again. Wait. Let's just scale that up a bit and hit E. Scale down. E. And we're just going to do this until we get it right. So a very simple technique, and by the way, when you're selecting your reference images, you want a side image and then an image of their head. That's your best bet for getting um, the best looks for this. So it's looking good so far, and I'm simply going to drag it up again, up and round it off like so. The end here is a bit off. I'm just going to model a quick hoof. 
we can't exactly see it. And there is very. There we go. So that's our. Uh, where did it just go? Where did that just go? Ah, it's there. It's all good. Have no fear. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm just in wireframe mode and it looks weird. So so our hind leg is looking good we're then going to now model our front legs just fitting up my 3d cursor and again a cylinder scale it down move it up scale it down until it fits there okay again we're going to go through our same steps into edit mode wireframe mode and select our top vertice here, our top edge up here, up here. This is a lot easier, this leg here. Keep on going. And of course, this technique can be uh, used for any animal. Depending on the animal, the difficulty level will go up or down. I chose the stand because it's a pretty standard animal and I've seen it used in a lot of tutorials. 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 Okay. Anyway, we've modeled our leg. So we've got we've got our front leg. And this I'm pretty sure is our hind leg. Now we can exit wireframe mode and we can select our leg here and we're going to scale it on the X on the Y axis to flatten it a bit same with this one flatten it a bit and it's looking good scale that a bit more like so and the reason why we do that is we want it to look flat for our leg to connect to our body. So we're going to unhide our body now. And now you see our legs are placed in the center. So we're just gonna unhide our body reference. And look, it looks like we've got like a a one foot and a, a two footed deer, but we want a four footed deer. So we're going to grab our leg, go into top view and drag it across until you see the joint we're then going to go with this one as well and drag it across until you see the joint and we're going to pull it back like so I'm just going to have a look at that we're going to lift it up and across lift it up like so We're then going to scale this on the z-axis just to make it a bit bigger. Same with this one. And we're simply going to select both of them. And duplicate by shift holding shift D and dragging them over. like so so we've got our legs going nicely here they're definitely not big enough so i'm just going to scale it up a bit each one individually just so it looks nice they're all pretty similar sizes so it's all good okay so that's our main body of our deer now one thing we are missing and and that is our antlers. So we're going to go back into um, perspective mode just to have a look and see any fixes that need doing. And 
that just needs to go in a bit more and we should be all good to go okay it's looking good so far now before we start modeling our antlers we want to add a modifier to our um, shapes so for our body we want to hit tab on our keyboard and we're going to hit a and then subdivide it once we're then going over to our modifiers and adding a decimate modifier and we're just going to give it a, a decimate of 0 0.18 oh, triangle we just want that low poly look as you see some of our shapes here have gone triangle and that's the effect we want so I'm going to select my leg again subdivide it add a decimate modifier of 0 0.18 done and don't forget to hit triangulate and click apply and do the same with all the other legs I think I just 0 0.81 not 0 0.18 just to make sure for that because otherwise it looks very strange or is it 0 0.18 No, it must be 0 0.81. You can always change the decimate to your selected value. Let me just check if it is 0 0.81. 1, 8, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely 0 0.81. Okay, so now we've decimated them. They're looking a bit more low poly. As you can see, the actual triangles are here and stuff. So now we're going to model our antlers. So we're going into front view. And when I say front view, I literally mean front view. And I'm going to shift A. I'm going to add a cylinder. But before I even start, I can see our body here. It's a bit too fat, so I'm just going to scale him down a bit on the y-axis. And again, push in our joints. And likes. Okay, so it's looking a bit better now. He's a bit skinnier. Okay, now let's model these antlers. So, the technique I use for this is just to scale it down first of all. Move it up, scale it down, and zoom in. Across, and... Okay, scale it down a bit more. And we're going to find, we're going to rotate it on the X so it's facing like that. Push it forward. And we're going to push it down. Okay, let's start. So the way I model these is very simple I went into edit mode again and I selected my edge selecting sorry my face selecting this time went out of wireframe to hit C out of my keyboard and selected my top faces like so I then went into back into front view and let me just ah yes I simply went 
up. I hit, I controlled, clicked over here. Scale it down a bit. I then control clicked over here. But at the same time, I move this back a bit, like so. I'm then going to control click up here. Again, moving it back. And then I control click down here. Like so, up here. And we're going to scale that down so it's very fine, like a point. So that's the first step of the antler. The next step is usually antlers come out in V's or Y's. So I'm just going to shift D to duplicate. I'm going to scale it out. Scale it down, sorry. Going to top view here. And I'm going to find a place where this split would happen. So I can see the split happening here. I'm going to rotate it a bit. Like so. Zoom in and I'm just going to push it across and scale it down. Let's just scale it down a bit more and push it down. And that's looking good, that antler. I can also see we we could make this a bit bigger actually. That would look quite nice. Okay, we're then going to grab our same bit here. Shift D. Going to pull it down here and scale it down. And push it in to our horn. Scale it. We also want to rotate this on the Y axis a bit. Actually, no, we don't. We want it like that. Just going to zoom in, scale it down a bit. There we go. And by looking at it, our uh, tree is looking quite bland, so we can add a bit more of these. So we simply just do the same step. We find a place for our antler to go and I think I'm, I'm going to put this one down here I'm then going to rotate it on our y axis scale it up a bit so we've got something like this and it's looking quite nice one thing I have noticed is we just need to rotate it on our axis like so move it across shift D R one eighty and pull it down like so. We're then going to uh, ninety. We then, as I say, we're going to move it across and rotate it on our y axis. Push it down and so. And you can align this to your selected liking. And that antler is looking really nice. So I'm just going to delete those. And I'm going to select my antlers again up here. Shift D and simply move it across. Move it across. Oh, is it 180? Oh, is it X? And move it across and forward. It's looking a bit strange. As I said, these antlers take a while to position. Yeah, these antlers do take forever to position, so I'm just going to duplicate this.
and the ant will Sorry about that, my computer was literally just running out of charge. Okay, and scale our antlers up. So, now I know how I'm going to position that one, I'm just going to scale it up. Scale it up a bit more. We want our antlers for our deer to be quite big. Yep, shift D, drag it over, rotate on our Z axis a bit, drag it over, up back and down okay and that is our deer done so that is our stag complete so as I said it does take a while to position those antlers but in the end it gives a really good final product so now the rest of the video is just going to be setting up the scene so I'll just set up a simple scene for you guys so I'm just going to add a plane scale it out I'm also going to s to select all of my deer and push it down like so going to scale this out a bit more going to add a sun lamp and just going to scale the, I'm just going to rotate on our Z and rotate on our X's sorry X and Z get it like so we're then going to add a camera where is my 3d pointer never I always have a tendency of hitting my left mouse button and go to camera simply pull it out and up and we'll just go to view camera and that is way too close I didn't even see if it was that close should have known Where is my castle? And a few camera. Scale that out a bit and rotate it. And adjust my focal length. Okay, one thing I'd like to do is just position my stag's back leg. So I'm just going to rotate it on the Y axis and just pull it back like so. So we've got a nice um, posh pose going there for our camera. And we're just going to give it a material of... Gray, and we're just going to hit on uh, over our resolution on a hundred percent, and our sampling on two hundred. Um, down here, I'll render on two hundred. That's if you want to completely render it and you're done doing everything with it. But we're just going to give it a quick render, and I'll show you what the final effect is. So overall, it looks really, really nice. I'm very impressed with um, the final product, and I hope you are. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial.